Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Subnautica Let's Play. We're on Season 2, this is Episode 8, and I just wanted to show you guys that I have grinded out quite a bit of items. Uh, I actually grinded it out on stream, and I went and just did a bunch of the boring stuff. I got my inventory all ready for some more, you know, uh, building and stuff. Let me just show you what I got here. Uh, I made another power cell uh, right here. I got a bunch of these acid mushrooms, coral chunks, look at all the drink I got. Um, I got a little bit of food in here as well. And then over here, I've got some quartz. I've got copper. I've got titanium. I need all this stuff. Uh, I don't know what titanium doing is doing in there. It shouldn't be in that one because this is... Oh, I know why it's in there. Because my titanium thing was full. So let's just go ahead and grab a bunch of this titanium. Let's grab a little bit of quartz. And what we're going to do is we're going we're to go ahead and make some glass. We're going to... Um, continue building our our base uh basically and uh yeah so they're talking about the next update and the next update is apparently going to have a radiation suit so we can explore that ship that we crashed in now i was under the impression that that ship was never intended to be explored i didn't figure there was anything in the ship to be explored um but apparently there was because they're going to give us a radiation suit <laughs> And I don't see any reason to have a radiation suit if we're not going to be going exploring the ship. So, yeah, that should be pretty interesting. Uh, okay, so we got that. You know what? Um, <laughs> we actually don't have a lot of quartz. I don't think we're going to need a ton of glass, though. So let's just take this and get down there. Um, yeah, I've done a ton of grinding. You know, I, in order for this game to be considered a survival game, which, you know, I like survival games, I guess you need the hunger and, and thirst meter. But to be perfectly honest, they seem to be more of a of, of, a, of an annoyance in this game more than anything. Um, I kind of... Oh boy, we're bugged. Look at that. We're in midair. We're falling. We're falling. We're falling. We're falling. We're falling. Boom! There we go. Yeah. Um, buggy game is buggy. Hey, it's alpha. What are you going to do? So, that man, that just shot me way up in the air all the way over here. So, uh, we got to get back to where we were. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. Oh, you know what? This thing's... Only got 66, 66 health. Let's go ahead and uh, repair it. There's a few things I always carry with me. My knife, my repair gun, and my builder. Um, I guess you don't always need the repair gun, but I know I'm going to need it for this. So I figured I'd be carrying it with me. Um, yeah, so the hunger and thirst meter, I kind of think they should go down a little slower. Um, I don't mind the hunger and thirst, thirst thing, but I kind of feel like I spend too much time farming. Um, for fish and stuff. I wish there was another way for me to feed and feed myself and get water. Like maybe some kind of distillery that doesn't take salt. Or maybe you could put salt in a distillery and it only uses one piece of salt maybe for five drinks instead of one piece of salt for one drink. Um, I just kind of feel like they got to work on that a little bit. Uh, so, and I'm sure they will. <clears throat> hey, maybe it's not a problem. Maybe it's just in my head. All right, so I'm going to show you guys. Um, I guess when last I... Plus two to base hull strength. What is that? What was that that just came up? That's kind of weird. Anyway, when last I played, I was uh, told you guys I was going to figure out how to... Um, how to build, like, uh, ladders and stuff. What? What the hell was that? I'm not even moving. What the hell was that? Huh. Uh, I might have one of these little fish. I'm gonna catch him. He sure is swimming weird. What's this? Uh, pick up transfuser fragment. Now you need trans you need fragments in order to get blueprints. I don't know what a transfuser is, but it sounds pretty cool. So we're gonna pick up the fragment for it. Anyway, um, when I was last making a video, and it's been a while, I didn't know how to make the base structures go up because base structures can go up. As well as, uh, you know, side to side and I, I'm guessing down as well. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. I did figure it out on stream and uh, I'll show you how to do it. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to make a... Um, yeah, just a regular corridor. And we're going to put that right there. And then we're going to get another corridor and put it right there and we're going to build these two 
Nope, oh, not like that. There we go. We should. 30 seconds of oxygen. Let's get, get up here. Okay. So that's the beginning of our base. And um, I'm going to show you something cool. Okay, shake something cool. Um, here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out. We're going to pick another regular corridor. And we're going to put it right on top of this one. And it should clip right in there. And it doesn't. Why doesn't it? There we go. Okay. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves down. In order to get in, you need a hatch. So we're gonna put a hatch right here. And now we can get in. Warning, 30 seconds of okay, now there's no power in here. Uh, we will get, we will deal with that later. But right now there's no power in here. I need to get up there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look for a ladder and just, um, a ladder. And I think I just placed the ladder. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this. There we go. All right, so you just place the ladder right there. Now, I was actually thinking about a different build I want to do. I think I could take this stuff apart without losing any material. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this apart. Hold E to deconstruct. Well, first of all, let's see how much it costs to make a corridor. It takes two titanium ingots to make a corridor. Okay. We're one two bars away from the top so if there's two pieces of titanium or if if my inventory gets pushed down and these two boxes are taken up then that means you get full stuff back when you deconstruct it let's find out uh, there we go hold e okay let's see what we got in our inventory yep it said we picked up two titanium that's cool so you actually don't lose anything from building so that's nice so i can actually um I can actually play around with this and like build however I want. Now we have to worry about, you know, oh, is that gonna, you know, break the building or whatever. So that's pretty cool. So I got some ideas. I got some ideas. One thing I want to see first before I do anything is can I put down a foundation over here? And it doesn't look like oh wow, look at that. You can. So now I don't know if I want to though. Because I kind of like the idea of this being like a drop-off that I can look out a window. So I won't put the foundation there, but I can if I want to. So that's pretty sweet. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and... Warning, 30 seconds of oh, all right, already. All right, already about the oxygen. The oxygen. And the oxygen. All right, here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this one apart right here. And we are going to replace that with a T1. And we're going to make that go this way. Warning, 30 seconds oh, jeebus. You know, one thing I'd like to see in this game is oxygen matter in your ships. Like, y your ships have power, but I think your ships should have, should have an oxygen supply. And I hope that's coming in, in an update because that would be really cool like i think your ship just shouldn't be able to like last forever like as far as oxygen goes all right so now what we'll do is we'll grab one right here this will just be a regular corridor and put it right there okay then we'll put another one right on top right there so this way the ladders are not in the way of the base basically um anytime there's a ladder going up to another level i don't want it in a main hallway because then when i'm walking down hallways the damn ladders will be in the way by the way there is only a, a certain amount of um structural integrity these things can take being this far underwater and we have to be aware of that although i don't know how you're supposed to know exactly but uh, i'm pretty sure we'll find out um ladders there we go check it out check it check it check it out Negative three to base hall strength total now four. Okay, so the base I'm not sure what that means. Um, we're gonna we're gonna learn that So let's go up the ladder. There we go. Now. We're up here Very cool. Very cool. So can we put some glass up here? That might be cool. Let's say foundation corridors window Negative one to base hall, total is now three. Okay, so I think when that total gets down we're to zero, we're in trouble. So putting windows in does affect the... the 
Um, do I not have enough glass? I probably don't have enough glass, do I? Nope, don't have enough glass. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, man, this thing's coming along. I'm liking this. I'm liking this quite a bit. Look at that. That looks pretty sweet. Alright. Um, let's put down some more foundations. I don't know if you need foundations under the entire thing because, like, look over here. There's no foundation here, and this thing is... Oh, look at this. It has, like, a little support thing underneath it. That's interesting. But it doesn't have a foundation underneath it. Like, what does that mean? I, I don't know. I really don't know. This is all... This is all really, really new to me. That's for sure. So I think what we'll do is... We'll come over here. And we will take... We will build a hatch... Right here. We can't. Why can't we? It's not telling me why we can't. I'm thinking it's... No. Wait, why can't I build a hatch there? <gasps> hmm. I can build a hatch there, but not there. Is it because of the windows? Let's deconstruct this. Oh, it's because of the windows. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Interesting. So this will be the way I get into my base. You know, come over here. Whatever. Um, we need to... There's there's an item we need to put on here. That it, I don't know how to... Yeah, blueprints. Okay. Um, where is it? Where is it? Oh, fragment analyzer. Oh, no. That's something we already have. Foundations. Um, here we go. Reinforcement. That's what we need. We need to build reinforcement. That'll give us more um, reinforcement on the walls. We also want to build fabricators in here and stuff. But in order to build fabricators, we're going to need a power source. Um, uh, we're going to need a power generator. So let's go see. Let's go ahead and see if we can build a power generator. I've never done this before. This is new to me. So power generator. I don't know if it matters where it goes. You know, before we build that, let's uh, let's deconstruct this hatch. We only need one way to get in, and it's going to be the other side. All right, so power generator. I don't know if it matters where this goes. Uh, we could put it right here, I guess. Now, is that going to hook right up to the to the base? Warning: thirty seconds uh, of oxygen remaining. Whoa, what was that? Something sounds scary. Did that hook up to the base? Yes, it did. The base now has power. Alright, so... So the base now has power. So what we're going to do is... We're going to go ahead and put in... A fabricator. Alright, and then we are going to put in a... Locker. I'm just putting these wherever right now, but they're definitely going to change later on. We can put the locker right here for now. What's that sound? It sounds like something's going on outside. Maybe it's the uh, generator. Oh yeah, these boulders are weird. Alright, no, it looks uh... It's pretty normal out here, May. Man, I like it. Let's move the uh, let's move the cyclops now. Actually, it still might be a good place for the cyclops. Just keep it away, right? You don't want to be bumping into the thing. The hell was that? This game's making weird noises. Um, we do need to eat though. Let's get in. Uh, let's get in the cyclops and eat. Oh, we're bugged. Damn it. Yeah, it spawns like extra cyclops or something. It's kind of weird. You know. No, oh, look at this. We got a whole breach. There we go. Power's looking good up here. Uh, whenever I shut down the game and restart it, it always gives me 100% power, which is kind of lame. But there, honestly, the guys, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, so, that kind of sucks, but... Alright. So let's go ahead and bring stuff down there. 
I do want to bring the... Uh, I want to bring the... Uh, what are they called? The power thingy-mabobs. Power cells, that's what I want to bring. Alright, I'm starving. I got it, I got it. Peeper, peeper, drink. Transfuser fragment. So basically what fragments are is... First of all, what is a transfuser? Transfuser, foundation corridor, ladder, power generator, hatch, corridor, corridor. I'm not sure what a transfuser is. Maybe it doesn't show up if I don't have it? Um... But basically what happens is there's only certain items you can build in the game until you find blueprints. And the way you find blueprints is you find the fragments and you put them in a... You put them in a... Fragment Analyzer. Problem is I don't have... I need two Fragment Analyzer blueprints. I don't have them. Um, there is a, f a Fragment Analyzer on my main, like, uh, raft thingy that I started on. Um, so I'll probably just go up there and uh, use that one. As a matter of fact, let's go do that now. Yeah, let's go do that now. That's a good idea. Alright, where's our... There's our beacon. That's another thing. We have to set up a beacon onto our base. Once we set up a beacon onto the base, we could start moving the uh, Cyclops around more. Although, you know what? The Cyclops is so, like big and unwieldy it's kind of like i don't really know if it's something i want to move around that much to be honest but i don't know maybe maybe i probably should they need to uh build more of the world there's um there's areas in the world where you can go off like off into the distance and um come to like areas where there's nothing and one of the uh one of the play testers told me those are part of the games that the, the, the developers haven't built yet so i'm looking forward to them building that stuff for sure <laughs> Hmm. Oh crap, we didn't bring the damn anal the thing, did we? Oh, what's with the Oh no, I brought it. What's with everything being so bright? I'm kinda thinking that's a bug. Sometimes when you get in the sea moth and you f you fly around or just, um pilot this thing, it gets a little bit weird, but I don't know. Okay, so you open this bad boy up, you put this thing in. Analyst, um, analysis of trance, whatever, it's doing its thing. We'll just leave it alone and come back later. Transfuser, why do, what's a transfuser? <laughs> Transfusers, transfuser. Transfuser. Transfuser, transfuser, transfuser. I have no idea. Oh, we should make some. We should go back and make some beacons. Yeah, I don't know what the transfuser is. I guess we'll maybe find out or not. I don't really know. All right, let's get back. We can go back and make a beacon. Problem, the problem with the Cyclops is, like, you're not even going to bring it over to this area because the damn thing's so big, it'll just be rubbing against the bottom of the, of the, um, of the, you know, the, the bottom of the sea while it's, you know, actually at the surface because it's so, it's so shallow over there. So, don't know if I want to be doing that. It always looks like the uh, Cyclops is, like, is, is on the surface even when it's not because I get so much I go deep so quickly <laughs> man look at that thing it's huge you can actually see it from here okay so let's go ahead and make the beacon and we'll put that down and then we'll call it a video whoops Every time the damn thing opens up, it, it spits out a freaking thing. No, we're not passing safe depth. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. <laughs> when I was streaming this, 
my um something bugged out and the this uh cyclops just went down to the bottom of the sea uh, 150 meters and banged up against walls and i had breaches everywhere it was pretty funny i was really scared though um if i ever lose it because of a bug i'll just spawn it back in though because i'm not going to deal with that uh what did i come back here for oh yeah, yeah okay hold on we need to make a beacon beacon uh, beacon no it's not there i think it's here beacon copper wire uh what do we need for copper wire i think it's just two copper okay that's why i got some copper when i was out farming because you actually need some copper you need it for the uh, power cells that's that's the major thing you need it for okay and beacon now beacons come with floaties so i always thought they would float to the surface but apparently it doesn't so we'll see Can we just put this out here? Oh yeah, look at that. See, it's got floaties on it though. How come it's not floating up to the surface? Warning, 30 seconds of that don't make no kind of sense. That don't make no kind of sense, no how. I wish you could see the structural integrity of the ship before you, uh, or the hull integrity without, like, placing down stuff. Let's continue building. Um, you know what? It would still make sense to bring the... Uh, it'll still make sense to bring the Seamoth over here, so I'm going to. I don't like using the Seamoth, though, because it's so buggy you know or might as well fill up our inventory uh, yeah let's bring some of this stuff <laughs> all right guys so next video next video we're going to continue working on our base here so i'm going to call this one here and that is going to be it for um, what is this? Episode 8. Wow, episode 8. Okay. And, oh, the Fragment Analyze Unlock Transfuser Blueprint. Okay. Well, you know what? Um, that's going to be a, uh, um, a cliffhanger because I'm not going to show it to you just yet. Uh, so wait for next episode to see that. I don't even know what it's going to do. So either way, that's going to be it for episode 8, and I'll see you next time for episode 9. Till then, take it easy.